everybody! It is Galen Darling here, trapped in Eternal Forest. We can never get out. Oh no! Oh look, we're leaving. And we are out. <laughs> we are out. We are back to uh, civilization. We have made it to Eternal City. Look how easy that was. Didn't even need to face all those trainers. All like two of them, I think, or maybe three of them are actual trainers. But either way, we have our superpower team of Pokemon. And I don't really feel like just rushing to the gym right now. What level's the gym? Eh, like 21, 22. Okay. I mean, I know this is the one, this is grass, right? Yeah, this is grass. This is the one where you, ha you have to fight every trainer and you have to go through and find them. Yeah. So, like, it's not the scariest gym. Uh, I'm not, I'm not too terrified of it. Oh, I was gonna it. put Blaziken in front. Well, I'm gonna take on these water type trainers. Okay. They're fishing up some Pokemon. Are Might as well get some Magikarps. Most likely, most of them are. Uh, so while we're facing these these fishermen who have uh, totally strong and definitely not inconsequential Pokemon, uh, I wanted to to ask you your opinion. Do you want to go ahead into the underground and get our Pokemon encounter now, or do you want to wait for later? If we wait. Will there be a greater diversity of Pokemon, and will the levels be higher? Yes. Then I say we wait, so that we can have a chance at something better. That is fair. We'll go ahead, we'll get the Underground Explorers kit anyway, just to have it. But, we also do have another encounter towards the right, which is... Most likely going to be a meta tight. Ooh, okay. So, that'll be fun. There also is the cave. So, we didn't specify how we're doing Mount Cornet entirely. I'm of the opinion we get one Pokemon from inside Mount Cornet. And we don't separate it by level, you know, B1 or... or uh, oh, I didn't know that was a thing. So, yeah, I know, agree. Just, level just three, one. third, four, fourth, four. I think we just go in once. And whatever we get, we get. Okay. Now, we already have taken out Geodude and Zubat from the running. So... Clefairy? Clef Clefairy's in there. Onyx? Onyx might be. I don't know. And then I know there's Bronzors Ooh. and Chinglings. If we get a Bronzor, that is incredibly helpful. Because Bronzors are weak to only fire and ground. And, and depend levitate. Well, they have two abilities. They have heat proof or levitate. Oh, so, so they're, they're either immune to one or they're resistant to the other. So they're pretty, um, pretty great Pokemon to have. They would probably replace Brock though. So we can we can think about that if it happens. We, we, we don't get, know if we we can catch them. Can we get a side out there? Because we can use a Psyduck to replace Fishbok and Brock. I don't think any place that we can reach early on has a Psyduck. I want a Psyduck! Well, get a Psyduck in your own game. It's not I gonna happen here. Did. <laughs> I don't get to play it enough. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we have we have some thoughts to to get through once we see more Pokemon that we can catch here as we kind of more formally cement our team. Yeah. Because I, uh, as fun as switching for each gym is, there is there is going to be a time where that's just obnoxious to do. So we kind of want to settle on which Pokemon we actually want to be a permanent member on our team. Hold up. Dumb question. Sure. Good enough that I'm going inter to interrupt what you were saying, though. Of course. Flame Wheel is physical, right? Correct. So if we use Power Up Punch a couple of times, we can just sweep through the rest of the team. If With it's a... Flame Wheel? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that if we wanted to. Okay. The only problem I see with that strategy is allowing the other Pokemon to set up, because fighting won't be super effective, and so it wouldn't be, like, too dangerous. I'm just thinking, like, Stun Spore. Would yeah. be annoying to, Effect, to deal that's with. That's gonna be annoying. So that that would or poison point would possibly be 
uh, something that we get from like a beauty mm -hmm. or well I guess she has a, a cherubi a turtwig and then roserade I don't think the first two have poison point as an option because they're not poison types but it might be a it might be a good strike to go with I like how we're just talking. I'm not, I'm barely I'm barely even paying it's, attention it's the, to Brock it's the right now. Fish catchers, they don't matter. <laughs> I'm barely attention. I'm just letting Brock do what he needs to do. He's got a level. He's got 60 special attack. He's fine. He learned Psycho Cut. Ooh, the first created by Psycho Mantis. <laughs> yes, Psycho Mantis came into the Pokemon world <laughs> after he was running away from freaking Snake. Who started off as Patrick Bateman, American <laughs> Psycho. Oh, he's just a hobbyist. Okay. No need to bother you then, I saw sorry, what sir. you did to those guys. Uh, I'm just here for the fish. Yeah. Totally <laughs> not a trainer. <laughs> I don't need you to beat me up, man. Alright, let's rest our Pokemon. But yeah. I think it's tough. I don't... I definitely want Fishbuck to evolve. I just want Fishbuck to, like, reach his full potential. Even mm -hmm. if we don't end up using him. Because I feel like Gyarados are just kind of Pokemon that everybody relies on in the Nuzlocke because they're so beefy and yeah. powerful, which isn't bad. But also, I don't like it's Sinnoh. I kind of want to use a Sinnoh Pokemon. <laughs> I'm so mad that the criminal organization doesn't operate in the underground. That would be funny. You just go underground and then just a whole bunch of, <laughs> of Team Galactic members surround you. Get out of our, our space! Just beat you up. Give it a try. I am forced, against my will, to select the Explorer Kid. By select, I mean I'm not pressing any buttons. The game is doing it for me. Oh, hello there, Rourke. Hey, Rourke! What are you doing here? I, I mean, you can do whatever you want here. I'm uh, not doing anything. Totally not. Um... <laughs> Now, I know that this game got rid of the gambling minigame. Yes. Correct? Correct. I definitely think they could have... But, you know, in gambling, right? One of the big things is you can use that to, to earn credit to buy certain Pokemon. Yes. I mean, it was in the first gen. I don't think you could buy Pokemon in Gen 4, but I'm not sure. You maybe could. My thought was they easily could have said, you know what, gambling's not allowed. We'll just make a black market in the underground. <laughs> <laughs> you can go and just buy Pokemon. We'll just make it ten times worse. <laughs> Alright, time to meet and defeat the Elite. Let's go, Cynthia. Let's battle right now. We're ready for you. She's adorable. <laughs> she is. She's so cute. Why do people not like her? People love her. Are you kidding? Is it just because she's a really hard yes. champion? Yes. Okay. And nobody hates her as a person. Everybody just hates her guard jump for being too much of an a-hole. That and she starts with a freaking spirit tomb, which in this gen, before fairy types, had no weaknesses. Oh. And had a lot of resistances. Mm -hmm. And, like, immunities. Oh, Cynthia, please be vague. Please tell me more about the mythological Pokemon I totally won't meet within the next couple of hours of my journey. Which one? Palkia? I mean, that's what. Is this game Palkia or is this. Palkia. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, the legendary Pokemon? Out of my way, Grunt. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. What's that back there? Why is it still Dialga? Or maybe it's a mix of both. No, that's definitely Dialga's it, head. It, yeah, but it's Pokia's shoulder blade. Such is the blessing of Pal. The blessing of Pal is upon us! <laughs> ah, bless Pal. Pal be praised. <sighs> Got a Draco plate! It's really funny. The I, I get what they're trying to do, and it was a tough, it it was a tough job. But this statue originally, it it was only one statue in every game, and it looked the same. But the way that the sprite work was done, 
was it you could see it as either Palkia or Dalyalga because it was oh. vague enough in its form that it was like oh you could see it as being on four legs or you could see it as oh those are you know shoulder blades and, and stuff it was actually a really cool sprite but obviously in 3D that doesn't translate so as they just easily blended them. so they just blended the two all right 211 what are we gonna get um is there a Pokemon that has a stat move? Uh, check something. We can burn it. Mm -hmm. I see. <laughs> uh, so we get. We're not really the catching team. We're, we're just gonna put Malarok first, and he's going to be gentle with uh. Whatever Pokemon we see here. I love this grass being clovers instead. Yeah, Like, it's, it's nice. different. Like, that's just such a small thing, but I really enjoy it. And then you see it when he comes up. It's a Metatite. It's a Metatite. Little Onion Boy with a diaper. Wow. Okay, Metatite and Metatite. He's not even on our team and you're already insulting him. I love onions. And Metatite has an onion head and then Metacham looks like pearl onions. It's just the Pokemon's design. I'm just <laughs> stating a fact. All right, we're gonna gust it because if Malarok the Destroyer can destroy this thing in one hit, it clearly wasn't meant to be on our team. That's I, I do use that a lot. That's good logic. <laughs> All right, it lived. We're cool. In a nose confusion. All right, do we go for another? I think we Just a do, confusion? or we use uh, confusion. Yeah, should be fine. That, or we use a great ball. I don't want to use a great ball on this. It's a meta type. Though I also haven't used a meta type, I don't think, in like an actual game. All right, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah. One ball wonders return. <laughs> we will always. I be... don't know. I don't know what's worse that I'm a one ball wonder or that you're a one ball <laughs> wonder. <laughs> no, see, it's joint between the two of us. We have two balls because we're each one ball wonders. So we have the correct amount of balls between the two of us. Ah. Uh. Yes. What's your nickname? Oh, it's my turn. It is your turn. Um, oh, I didn't think of anything. Go on. Take your time. Tis only our entire audience who is waiting for you to continue the game. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of something with onions. The thing with the onion starts with B. The onion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not calling it a bunion. Um. Uh, fine. Bismuth. Bismuth? Alright, bismuth it is. Wait, how long do we have? Twelve? <laughs> I don't think Byzantium will fit, but that's what I want to do. Well, bismuth it is, because I'm not typing whatever else you just said. Is that correct? Yes. Great. It's the uh, mineral that makes, like, the... No, 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 no. I know what... Oh, you mean bismantium? No. I know what bismuth is. Byzantium is an ancient kingdom. Yeah, that's... It was, it was basically when Rome split, it, the eastern half became Byzantium. Kind of. It was also more Greek. Um, it's weird. It's weird that you know that. That's Not really. Weird. That's common knowledge. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Everybody in the comments, just type yes or no. Did you know that well, Byzantium was whatever say Byzantium it right was? First. <laughs> it's I, it's Byzantium, or I think it's more commonly called the Byzantine Empire. Well, I know about the Byzantine amp Empire. Yeah. But I don't know about any Byzantine Tantium Tom 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 I think Byzantium is just another name for it. Yeah, Byzantium is the em is the country of the Byzantine Empire. Well, I didn't know that. Okay, I just knew <laughs> them as the Byzantine Empire. All right, next dude 
is a rock dude that we're gonna have probably have to face in order to get into Mount Cornet. Do you want to do this? Yeah. You want to get your Pokemon now? <laughs> Why not? Because we could get another Pokemon later. A different Pokemon. We'll see what we get. We're already here. We're already here. I want to be like that one day. I want to tower over everybody as a mountain. What a dream. What a dream to have. I want to be so big. I wish that I, I just look down at everybody and go, I am a mountain man. I wish I could have been born in Iceland. And there would be a much higher chance that I would just be born huge. <laughs> Why? You'd be a, you'd be a giant? No, like, um, you know the mountain, right? The, the actor? Oh, no. Uh, Thor Horfrickson, I think his name is? Um. You think his name is gonna make me know him any better? He's, he's the big guy from Game of Thrones. Cool, I've never seen the show. I know you haven't, but maybe you've seen the image. Um, I think it's Iceland, it might be Greenland, so the two confused, still. Um, that's kind of the point of the naming convention. But... There's like I heard that actually was a myth. That oh. they didn't they that they didn't name it to confuse people. Like they did name it, but yeah. like it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, um but sure. I'll look it up later cuz that sounds plausible, but um there's basically because it's so genetically isolated, it's led to like a higher percentage of the population basically being eligible for bodybuilding because they're just naturally towering, hulking figures of people. I see. And there's like, I think it's like one or two villages in particular where everyone is like huge. Like everyone is either normal or huge. <laughs> they're just a town of people who are absolutely ripped. Yeah. You just walk into town, you're, you're like, you're like, oh, I'm gonna go into this next town and I'm gonna con the like innkeeper out of his money. No big deal. You walk in, everybody's just literally just <laughs> posing with their bulging it's muscles. Barbarian village. Ugh, yeah. Well, not even that. Other, other than that, they could just be. I mean, other. They also just really tall, right? Because you look at heights. I think the the Scandinavian countries are known for being like the tallest, mm -hmm. like Scandinavians in the northern Europe. Yeah. And that's who settled those areas. The genetic isolation means those genes can just kind of repeat on Though, themselves. I do think that the place that has the highest concentration of tall people is actually in Africa. Because I think I saw like a news story about it, but it's like literally people go and everyone there is like seven foot tall. But is that like a specific village or is that like a larger area? A specific village. Okay. Like I, I, I don't think it's like a heavily, like, oh, it's Nigeria. Uh, yeah. Like it's a, a small population of people. Okay. But I think they're the, the, the most, uh, at, at least they have the most consistent height amongst their population. Because obviously the tallest person is like what? It, I think. Robert Wadlow? Well, he was. And he was American, if I recall correctly. And then I know there's a very tall person who's a basketball player who's Chinese. Yao Ming? Yes. So, I don't know who the tallest person right now is. Oh, look, another Metatite. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we cannot take you, Metatite. We already, we filled our fighting quota the t when we got Blaziken, but unfortunately we just keep keep having no, people we can get in. more fighting we can be a fighting type trainer <laughs> yeah, it makes good stuff let's just see how effective a flame wheel is very effective good job please again okay yep cleffa geodude matchop chingling meditate and zubat so this is so we can get cleffa chingling or Zubat. We have a Zubat. Oh, right. Yes, we can get... What? I'm not seeing... Where? So where's Bronzor? Is he in the other entrance? Because I don't know if I want to keep grinding here for a Chingling slash a Cleffa. Yeah. Though um... a Clefairy might actually be cute. Yeah. We have a lot of, like, not cute Pokemon. We, we can go for some adorable Pokemon. Oh, what floor are we on? Maybe that'll change it. 
I don't know, we're on the first floor? Route 207 entrance. 207, yes. Yeah, I okay. So, Bronzor is not there. Um, Bronzong is on second floor, or higher. No, Bronzor would be what would be Bronzor here. and Bronzong are listed on this side, at least. And then at the top, you can also get a Bomb of Snows and Knocked Owls. Yeah, we're never gonna make it up there without catching a unique Pokemon. Come on, Cleffa! Ugh. I say we do this, then one more, and then we just move on. But actually, now I want a Cleffa. And besides, in four hours and 40 minutes and two seconds, we gotta go check our honey tree. <laughs> Thank you for the update. Look, I don't provide a lot of utility here. <laughs> So clearly, I gotta make myself, make myself useful somehow. I don't know, having a fairy type would be really good against a Garchomp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just come in and we just freaking moon blast it. Hopefully, it dies. Gee, dude! So on a national scale, Icelanders are some of the world's tallest. Men are on average 180 centimeters. Isn't that how tall PewDiePie is? I thought he was 5 foot 11. <laughs> I think that's the joke is he kept keeps saying he's 180 centimeters. That's 5 foot 11. No, Meditai, I don't want you. The American average is five foot nine inches. I'm taller than average. Good for you. That doesn't seem right. Everyone still seems taller than me. What the heck? I'm not taller than average, but like for dudes. What? <laughs> you tried that sentence again? I'm not taller than the than the average. Than the for average dudes. male. Okay. Yeah. I am fairly tall though. I used to be the tallest person at my work, other than like the two dudes like who would come in occasionally. And I like literally people would come to me and be like, Can you can you reach and get this thing from the top shelf? Can you get this for me? Can you lift this thing? And I'd have to be like, Yes. Question. Yes? We will have to go through Mount Cornet, right? Yes. Do we just wanna wait to get Cleffa then? But there's no guarantees we'll get Cleffa. I mean... Also, it's a friendship evolution. Friendship takes time. But I see what you mean. You're bored. You want me to leave this cave. <laughs> Less that I'm bored, more that I don't think grinding right now is the best choice. Grinding is always the best choice. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we have a grass gym we need to destroy here shortly. Ah, it's a bird person. A bird person. She literally just comes at us and like grows <laughs> wings out of her arms. It's a hoot hoot. I can't believe you figured out my secret identity is an actual avian human hybrid. I am bird person. Cuckoo. Take down the hoot hoot. The hoot hoot. The hoot hoot. The hoot hoot. We took down the Huthu. Good job. It really was not a problem for Tiger. Took away its leg to stand on. It technically does have two. Yeah, but only stands on one. At a time. Did she say she would have peck us for that? She is a bird person. We got taunt. We can taunt the bird person now. Yeah, but 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 peck is also ha, like. Ha! You can't actually fly. Ha 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 ha! Your hair is stupid. There I taunted her. With my new ability, taunt. Aren't you proud of me? Aren't I such a paragon of goodness and graciousness? And I can tell that you're that bad at taunting people because you use the same insult I always use <laughs> in this game, which is just your hair still. Oh! Darn it! Darn it! What? 
There's a trainer here who will train you, and if you have a buizel, you can get a chatot. What's a chatot? It's a bird. It's a parrot. It's oh. so cute, though. Oh. I love it. Oh, we could have had a chatot. Also, secret. Secret. In case you didn't know, there's a secret here. I didn't know. I also know there's one behind town, but I don't to get there. Yeah, you cut twice. I'll show you when we get there. Okay. Well, let's heal up and go fight. We'll find a couple people in the gym, and we'll save... We'll save Gardenia for the next battle. The next episode. Okay. Maybe Fishbach will evolve. She'll just like, she'll just be like, haha, why did you send out your Magikarp? And then it evolves in front of her eyes. She's like, aw, oh, shoot. I am sad I did not get to name Fishbach, but that's okay. You would have named Fishbach something silly and insulting. I would have named it Mr. Fish. Mr. Fish is not a, a Magikarp. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. What are you thinking of? Mr. Fish, I'm thinking of uh, Alpha Rad's uh, Dracovish. No, um, there's, it's ended now, but it was really good, it's a webcomic, called, uh, Manly Guys Doing Manly Things. It's really kind of, it's a halfway house for all the video game characters to too macho to fit into society. Ah, I see. But the intern is a Pokemon trainer who had a Magikarp, he named Mr. Fish, but he never actually knew how to fight, so he just hit other Pokemon with Magikarp until it evolved into a Gyarados. I see. I found the secret lady behind the tree while you were talking about your manly men doing manly things, like beating up Pokemon for fun. Yeah. How dare they? I judge them so. But I don't judge you, Blaziken. You can beat up Pokemon as much as you'd like, because you are one. That's also the one where they say, hey, how come it can only learn four moves? I mean, it does have a lot of blunt force trauma to the head. But, you know, Mr. Fish is a good Pokemon. And at one point, they realize it's four times weak to electric, so he just ties a bunch of uh, magnetons to the outside of it. <laughs> As, like, armor? Yeah, to make an electric shield. I wish we could do that in- Bye, Roselia. Bye, Roselia. <laughs> I wish we could do that in game. We could just come up with Pokemon armor <laughs> and just be like, All right, I'm giving you this knight armor. Blaziken, so that you may go into battle and not feel any pain. <laughs> Though to be fair, Blaziken would just melt through his armor. I mean, I think the best armor would just be several balloons. <laughs> right, because you can get a balloon once and it's a one-time thing. But just get like seven or eight balloons. You have Levitate, and they can't- it, one gets popped, you just add another balloon on there. He becomes the house from up. <laughs> a blazing kid just diving from the sky, popping balloons to lose altitude. Yeah, that would be a problem. He'd have to he'd have to pop the balloons in order to reach his opponents to punch them. Yeah, but look at look at those arms. Look at those hands. He can pretty easily just like hold on to like a, a tank of helium and just fill as he goes. That seems rather complicated for him. Plus, if he needs to. He's a fire type with a tank full of helium. <laughs> See, now it just sounds like you just really you, you just want Blaziken to start causing some, some very incredible uh, <laughs> some damage. Is how I'll put it. Just just put the the blend of helium and pure oxygen balloons. Throw them in like throw them at trainers and have Blaziken throw fire at them. Like, that's an easy way to win pretty much any battle. Or, you know, destroy someone's house. See, but that sounds like it's like a targeted attack towards, like, children. Like, oh, here! Here's a balloon! Take it to your family! Adults like balloons! Do they? Have you ever turned down a balloon? Yes, if it was going to be obnoxious to keep a hold on, because I don't want to... Let it go Which and dirty the environment. obviously means I wasn't there, because otherwise you would just make me hold it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I would never turn down a balloon. We we have defeated that person. We have two more to go, and Blaziken is poisoned. So, we are going to go back to the Pokemon Center, and then we will head back here, where we will face Gardenia in one-on-one -on -one combat. A fight to the death.
No one will return the same. I mean, we're going to be fine. Yeah, we're going to be fine. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Hi there. It's the end of the video, my friend. Hit the bell if it was okay. I'm sure I'll make good content someday. I'll play some games or do some drawing Pokemon and fights with darling video essays and reviews. I couldn't do it without you, so thanks. Like and subscribe.